Introducing the Facebook Sales Funnel. Don't just generate likes, but actual paying customers too. We take your business to new heights with our one-of-a-kind HTML5 designs developed by Manny Lopez, the creator of FB Simplicity and PLS Tips with Manny. Completely customizable with a drag-and-drop editor and make Facebook simple with FB Simplicity, our exclusive video coaching series. Everything you need to become a Facebook superstar. Hey, you don't get named one of the best by Facebook without getting results. Get your very own Facebook sales funnel today at GetMyFacebookWebsite.com. I believe we are created for greatness, not mediocrity. That we are to live our lives accordingly, striving to be agents of change as we attempt to leave this world a better place than we found. All right. Welcome to a brand new edition of PLS Tips with Manny. If you guys were here last week, uh, you guys know we started Manny's Challenge. And uh, this week is Manny's Challenge Week 2. So uh, if you missed last week's challenge, just want to give you a quick recap. It was to call 10 people per day uh, for the last week. So I just want to see how you guys did with that. Uh, post that in the comments below uh, how you guys did, what happened, uh, if you guys even did it or not. I know a lot of you maybe didn't. Uh, you know, obviously not 100% of my watchers are going to jump on board and be super, you know, super caller people. I don't know who cares, but anyway. So, uh, this week we have a brand new challenge I'm going to go over with you guys. Uh, but just want to recap a little bit of what I did last week and, uh, and how my kind of results were. Uh, so, as far as calls, um, I definitely made a lot more than 10 calls per day. Uh, I was touching base with people from the expo, uh, touching base with people from uh, Power Leads uh, that reach out to me for assistance, uh, people that have contacted me through my email marketing, through my Facebook marketing. So I've got a lot of different automated ways of generating leads and generating revenue for my business. So I've been using a lot of that stuff. So constantly I'm pushing a lot more than 10 calls per day. But uh, anyway, so if you uh, don't have any systems in place and things that are just going automatic for you, you probably had to reach out to a lot of people, which uh, which is great. You know, it reaches you out to your comfort zone and uh, just gets you into a position of talking to people, interacting with people, and just sharing your opportunity. Because all you have to do is really invite them. You just become a professional inviter. You sit there. I mean, I was talking to one of my uh, one of my uh, pupils, or what do you call? It? I don't know. People you coach, I guess. Um, clients, prospects, whatnot, but uh, she's a client of mine in my bright side business and uh, and she came in and uh, and started basically working for me. She's uh, pushing my product to uh, prospects that she knows. She's uh, joining me at expos and stuff like that, uh, pushing, uh, pushing my product and getting business cards and things like that for me. But uh, I was talking to her yesterday and one of the things I mentioned to her was um, she was having difficulty, you know, getting people to understand the Mary Kay business and she was like, you know, I can talk to them about this I tell them about you know it's comparable to this and I'm just like okay so you're talking to women and you're trying to invite them to your business and trying to get them to understand how your business would work and how they can be successful now if you're just a professional inviter this is what I told her to do I said um, so tell them you know can you invite somebody to a birthday party and they're like well yeah of course I can invite someone to a birthday party I do it every year all the time for my kids or whatnot so that's what you do in this Mary Kay business you invite them to your opportunity instead of your birthday party same exact thing that's all you're doing that's how you're successful the more people you invite the more people are going to see your opportunity it's just a numbers game if you talk to as many you know so many people about your business so many of them out of that hundred or twenty or fifty or however many people you talk to will be interested in your opportunity they'll have some type of excitement they'll get it you know and then they'll take action the more people you talk to the more people are going to have that take action mentality that flip the switch thing that says wow this is an opportunity I want to get into so it, that's all you gotta do is just invite people to your opportunity so just wanna give you that quick tip um, so if you haven't struggled to talk to people and get them to understand hey this is what I'm doing um, you know I you know I try to if you just have difficulty getting people to understand what it is that you're doing and how you can present your business just say I'm an inviter I invite people to my opportunity that's it you know, uh, can you invite people to a birthday party? Yeah, I can invite people. Okay, then you can do my business. That's simple. That's all I'm doing is I invite people. Let me show you how I do this. Okay, 
check out this business card, you know, whatever. You get a business card together. Check out this business card. It's got a website right here. There's a video right here. Just watch that. Okay? If it makes sense, it makes sense. If it doesn't, it doesn't. No harm done. Watch a short video, a couple minutes out of your life, and it's either going to make sense, and your life is going to change, or it's not, and your life will stay the same. No big deal. You know, whatever whatever you want to say. But, um, you know, because some of the people that I've been talking to, they say, I'm struggling just kind of explaining what it is to do, because they always say, well, what is it? You know, what are you trying to show me? How does it work? How would it work for me? Uh, I don't think I can do this, you know, whatever. So whatever excuse they want to give you to why they don't want to watch your opportunity, they want to take the time or whatever it is that they say, just give them that plain excuse. Hey, can you invite someone to your birthday party? Yeah, of course, you invite it every year, you have a birthday party or whatever. Uh, or you have a kid's birthday party or you got invited to a birthday party. And obviously it's just some random person, you know, not some super network marketer, millionaire that invited you to a birthday party. I mean, it was your grandma, it was your aunt, it was your uncle, it was your cousin. I mean, come on, that's the things that you can do. If you cut it down to them and make it that simple, people are going to see your opportunity and say, well, yeah, well, of course, I can do that. That seems simple. Well, let me just try it out. I mean, that's all it takes. You get somebody to try it out and they you know, have some little success and they make $100 or they make 500 bucks, or they make 1000 or they make 20 bucks, or they just make their first sale ever. Imagine the feeling that they got. What's the feeling that you guys got when you had that first sale? When you started a new business or you did some new type of sales uh, opportunity, you know, I think my first sales opportunity was Cutco or something like that. And um, I remember doing my first sale, I'm like, wow, I, I made money. I, I sold something. I, I worked, I put in the effort, and I got a reward from it. I mean, that's, that's what you're, you have to get these people to look forward to. I mean, a lot of these people have never sold a thing in their life. They've they've gone through their life working at a postal office or they've been a teacher or they've been, you know, a construction worker. I mean, my dad, he's been in in construction his entire life since he's 18 years old. He's been in construction. He's done the same job and he's about to retire in a couple of years. I mean, these, I mean, I try to get them into this type of opportunity. They're just like, ah, oh, you know, it's not for me. I just don't do it. This just doesn't work for me. And you, you get to a point where it's like, wow, you know, if they could just understand how easy it is. All it is is you're just telling people to watch a video or go to a website or invite them out to an event or invite them onto a conference call or a webinar, something. You're inviting them. That's all you're doing. And if they take action, they take action. If they don't, they don't. Big deal. You invited them. You gave them a shot at your opportunity, and that's all you got to do is give give everyone a shot. Some of them, I mean, you may be surprised at the biggest hitters on your team. They are just random people that had no inclination about doing sales, but they did it once. They got hooked. They saw it. They liked it. I mean, that's what happened to me. I never knew I was going to be a salesperson. I never knew I was going to be coaching people around the world. I never knew I'd be talking to people from New Zealand and Australia and, and Japan and UK and, and South Africa and Brazil just within the last month. <laughs> so, I mean, you got to understand that you just never know where your life's going to take you just by being presented an opportunity. So you could be that person to present the opportunity. You could be the person to say, you know what? You know, somebody could be looking back 20 years from now and say, you know what, Michael introduced me to that opportunity and now look where I'm at today. And they're sitting in their, you know, three-story mansion with their elevator or something. I've been in these houses where there's an elevator in their house. I'm like, what? And it's just because they took action on an opportunity. And that's all you're gonna, you guys are doing. It's week. If you're going out there and having uh, a chance to talk with someone, just say, hey, you know, what are, what are you doing? Well, you know what? What are you doing with your life? Are you happy? Are you are you doing what you love? Are you doing what you set out to do? Most people are not. Ninety five percent of people are not, or more. I, I rarely find somebody that says I'm living my dream. You know, it's very very rare. You know, the people are excited that they they got to keep their job. You know, my sister just recently got laid off from a job, and now she just doesn't know what to do just because somebody made a decision, and just decided. We don't need you. We can do we can do well without you. At any moment that could happen. You guys could go into your job and just it not be there. You know, I, I got the chance to uh, I work for a company. 
I worked for a couple years at this company. This is the one that uh, made me decide to, to join, decide, you know, build my own business. Basically, it, it started my empire. This company, I had, had found my, my first mentor. Um, if you guys ever heard my tagline, anybody talked to me on the phone and asked me, how are you doing, Manny? I usually respond with, I'm too blessed to be stressed. And my mentor used to tell them it to me every single day. And uh, I would say, hey, man, how you doing, Gail? How you doing? Bam, hit him with his little knuckle punch, whatever. And then uh, he's always like, man, too blessed to be stressed, man. You know how I do it? And um, just always had that positive mindset. No matter what was going on, always too blessed to be stressed. Because there's always something that you can look at in your life and saying that, wow, you know, thank you, God, for putting that in my life. Thank you for, you know, giving me this roof over my head. Give, give me my children that are just always happy and excited and, and healthy and uh, and having a beautiful wife that I've had since high school um, and having just a life that I have. So there's always something to be blessed about. And even if there's a cloud over your, your head, um, you, there's always going to be something you can look back and just say, uh, I'm blessed, man. There's always going to be um, something to look look at as positive. You know, there may be so much negative around you, but just focus on the positive, stay happy, and you'll you'll just see uh, the difference that it'll make in your in your performance. You know, I, I remember going to work a lot, and there's a lot of personal struggles that I had to deal with uh, when I worked there for for a couple of years. I mean, just with anybody, as you know. I mean, look at your own personal struggles that you guys are dealing with every day. You know, no matter how positive things can be. There's always going to be something that will just tear it down or just throw it to the side or just throw you off of your game. And you're just like, man, what am I going to do? You know, when you get some letters from a collection agency or you get, um, you know, uh, eviction notices or your car got repoed that day. Um, you know, something happens in the family, a death in the family. You know, I had uh, right at the beginning of 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 my, my run as number one in the company where I just broke you know, big records. Uh, my uncle had died. Um, my third month of being number one, he had died, you know, in March, a couple days before my birthday. And um, it, it was hard. So, but I, ha I had to stay focused and that was a difficult thing for me. And uh, my mentor had, it just sat me down and just walked me through things and told me what to stay focused on. And and where he's at, I mean, he was a pastor, so which is really good about that. You know, I had uh, my spiritual influence along with my my uh, focus on on business and family and and just making sure that you just balance things the right way. And what's really great about that is I was you know able to sit at that and just look at him and just stay focused on the task at hand and making sure that you know every day you think negative is costing you time, money and happiness so you gotta look at that and just think you know the longer I stay pouting or sad or in mourning or you know just depressed or just in a negative mindset the longer you stay like that the longer you're causing more pain less money to your family and yourself more disappointment and just overall negativity it's just not good for anything for anybody so that's that's the kind of thing that I was uh, kind of just focusing on when talking with people this this uh, this past week is just really focused on making sure it's simple, staying with a positive mindset, and just be passionate about your product. Okay, so let's get into challenge number two. All right, so challenge number one last week was to call ten people a day. I hope you guys did that. If not, you know, get back into this and just call those ten people. Remember what I told you guys. When you're talking to someone about your opportunity, because all you're doing is you're calling those 10 people and you're inviting them to your opportunity, okay? You just say, hey, um, you know, whatever you, you're going to be doing. Just talking about introducing them to either Power Lead System or your primary business, you know, whatever it ties into the Power Lead System. I've, uh, I use my Brightside products to... Uh, to basically sell the power lead system. So I contact business professionals. I sell them a product through my bright side business, like a video commercial or a Facebook website or you know a sales funnel or a website, whatever I'm going to be selling them. So I promote that and then I say, hey, you know, this system I'm using for the, uh, the automated marketing platform with this. So I actually uh, upgraded my Facebook websites because I used to just call them Facebook websites you know for years that's what I was calling them and now I call them Facebook sales funnels because I've integrated my Facebook websites and added the power lead system as a back-end product 
So when somebody comes in that's not a power lead system to me, I say, hey, let me bring into the power leads and you'll use a system. So instead of me charging, you know, 50 bucks a month, which is what I used to charge, and I would just use that for consultations and, um, and, uh, and updates and stuff like that and um, uh, whatever else, e email marketing or whatnot that we would help them out with. So uh, now I just say, hey, for 30 bucks a month, you have this power lead system platform that will um, you know help you with your marketing with your follow-ups you have a contact manager with I mean it's obviously a lot more than just say hey, you have my cell phone number you can call me anytime and we can do consultations and whatnot so now I've got a platform to use as a secondary product that I can use a upfront product to get a nice upfront commission on so that's what I develop and that could be something you guys can think of too is to have some type of product that you can sell that can be a great tie into your power leads so it could be a coaching product it can be an ebook product I don't know something that says hey I'm gonna give you this product and then this you know for 30 bucks a month uh, after that you have this thing called the power lead system this thing that I'm using to use to you know manage my business to manage my contacts my email marketing my follow-ups I'm building out sales funnels with this you know whatever it is that you use power lead system for and you know it's a great way to sell your power lead system so you can sell two products at the same time which is how I'm growing my business so you can kind of do it that way but uh, on to challenge number two so here's what I'm what I want you guys to do this week okay like I said for last week is to be happy and uh, to to just make sure that you guys are doing something different okay so for this week I want you guys to literally smile at everything okay smile at everything okay somebody pisses you off and flips you off when you cut them off or whatever I don't know on the on the raid road or something raid road raid right <laughs> road rage so somebody gives you road rage or something smile at them say thank you and smile and wave I don't know just smile at everything and see how that just changes your mood Okay, because I'm literally just telling you, when you just smile, you know, you just have a, you just, I don't know, it's just something in your brain. It's just, smile, happy. I don't know. But um, the smile and just see how that changes. So when somebody pisses you off, somebody does something bad, um, you know, my kids go and just do something crazy. I'm going to have to use this myself. Okay, this is my test myself because there's a lot of times each week my kids just drive me nuts. You know, they spill something. They they go and they try and go and make their own cereal and drop the milk or something. I don't know. But, uh, uh, you know, they make a mess and they you know, have a bunch of water bottles. For some reason, I tell these kids, do not touch my water bottles because I use these water bottles for my zip fizz, okay? So each morning, um, well, I tried it. I mean, there's, I didn't get to do it every 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 week uh, or every morning, but um, I freeze these water bottles for like a couple hours until they're like almost frozen enough to where it's hard to crack them. Like you have to push them, and it like makes really thick pieces of ice. I think some of you can relate. But um, so I have Zip Fizz. It's just like this powdered energy drink. Um, it's healthy. You get it at Costco. It's got like forty-two thousand percent of your vitamin B12 and like. 833 percent of vitamin C or something so it's really good in keeping me healthy from my allergies and stuff like that um, I'm gonna be freaking plugging uh, products and stuff but anyway so I get this stuff at Costco and uh, well, I'll show it to you it's, it's pretty cool stuff it comes in all these little different flavors you guys can use this stuff too man I mean it's uh keeps me awake and stuff so it's it's called zip fizz and uh, it's just a little powdered energy drink you just mix it in with water some people just add it into just basic water but I add it to frozen water so I don't know, just makes it into a nice really really ice cold so it can just jolt you up but uh, that's what I do so um, so that's what I want you guys to do is just smile at everyone okay and um, also we're gonna to put together some goals, okay? Because it's April third today, and I want to have some goals put in place uh, for April. And you know, whatever I'm doing, I want to share with you guys. So if I'm doing some cool stuff, I want to do some cool stuff with you. So I'm gonna try smiling at everything this week, and then also uh, we're gonna put some goals together, okay? Because I wanted to do this. I wanted to make sure we're doing the smile thing this week, but also want to do some goals because this is the beginning of the month, and you know, it wouldn't make sense to start this goal thing, you know, next week, and it's like the tenth. You know, anyways, so it's the third. I don't know if you guys have put some goals yet together, but we're doing three goals this, this month. Three goals, okay? Now, here's my three goals, and we're gonna, you guys are gonna keep me accountable, okay? We got, you know, 
hundreds of people are going to be watching this each week. So um, you guys are going to be the ones keeping me accountable. And my three goals this week, my first one, okay, is have my website 100% e-commerce by April 15th. That gives me 12 days, okay, to get my, my website 100% e-commerce. Right now, I just have my Facebook funnels e-commerce ready, but I'm going to have everything else, my logo animation, my... Uh, uh, cartoon marketing stuff, my website design stuff, my uh, video commercial stuff, and uh, soon to be adding on our application stuff. We had uh, an application platform that we were using before that we put together and now we're kind of um, putting this little thing on steroids because we now have not only web apps but we're going to be adding on the Android and, and Apple platform uh, and Amazon platform as well so it's going to be a unique type of setup that we're doing but uh, it's it's going to be ready by April 15th that's what we're kind of shooting for so 12 days is uh, is what you guys are going to keep me accountable that's my goal number one All right. now goal number two is to have 25 new affiliates this month alone, okay, and that's also something I'm setting up is this new affiliate platform uh, that's going to allow me to um, literally have affiliates to my Brightside business, my ChooseBrightside.com business. So what that'll do is uh, it's a little different than the PLS affiliates, which that's going to work well with as well because they're going to be on both platforms. They're going to have to use the Power Lead system. That's going to be part of my affiliate program. Is they have to use the Power Lead system because that's how they're going to track everything. That's going to manage their marketing campaigns. They got to use all my campaign codes, you know. So um, I'm start really getting into that campaign sharing code stuff. So that's going to be really fun. Uh, so 25 new affiliates on that end, uh, which is going to be within my Power Elite system, and they're also going to be promoting my Brightside stuff. So that's kind of a different little platform. So not just the Power Leads, but overall in general, my, my Brightside umbrella. And then my goal number three is to repeat my five figures this month. Okay, So I don't know what your income goal would be, but you got to have an income goal this month. Okay, Everyone always, you know, not everyone, but a lot of people say, oh, I don't want to have an income goal. I want to put a goal like... You know, I'm going to help 20 people this month or something like that. You know, you can help 20 people, but that could also be 20 helping, you know, tw helping 20 people for free. And then you have no food on the table. You know, you got to have an income goal because you got to live. You know, you got to be able to pay bills. You got to be able to, you know, grow with your business. And if you're growing a business, that's going to be tied to your income. Okay. So have an income goal. If it's a thousand dollars this month, if it's 500 bucks this month, if it's just a hundred bucks this month, whatever your income goal is, get that income goal. My income goal is five figures this month, which is over $10,000. Okay. And I got to repeat that. I did that last month, which is really exciting. I'm going to repeat that this month and, uh, and get higher. You know, I'm not going to say my exact figure, but it's going to be in fi five figures. Okay. So that is my goal this month. I'm going to be uh, making sure that uh, that I stay accountable to that. You guys are keep me accountable for whatever you guys can on your end. And if you guys are brave enough, post in the comments what your goals are. Okay, and we're going to keep you accountable as well. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's see how we did this week. We are so far at 22 minutes. That's a pretty good number. All right, so we'll finish it up this week. All right, so we're going to have three goals. Okay, guys, three goals put together. Uh, put those in the comments if you're brave. And uh, you guys know my goals, which is my e-commerce website by April 15th, uh, 25 new affiliates, and repeat my five figures this month. Now, if you guys want to keep track of my website on having it uh, uh, e-commerce, it's uh, at choosebrightside.com. Okay, so that is my main umbrella website. It has everything on there. So if you guys want to go ahead and uh, and keep track of my e-commerce, go ahead and check it out there and uh, and keep me uh, keep me accountable. All right, so 12 days for me to get that stuff ready. Uh, the 25 new affiliates will be by the end of the month. So for you guys to keep me accountable is goal number one. And uh, I'll keep you guys accountable. Whoever wants to post in the comments, I'll keep track of that. And uh, let us you know, let me know if you have any questions. Let's touch base and uh, have a good one. Talk to you soon. Later. Introducing the Facebook Sales Funnel. Don't just generate likes, but actual paying customers too. We take your business to new heights with our one-of-a-kind HTML5 designs. Developed by Manny Lopez, the creator of FB Simplicity and PLS Tips with Manny. Completely customizable with a drag-and-drop editor. And make Facebook simple with FB Simplicity, our exclusive video coaching series. Everything you need to become a Facebook superstar. 
Hey, you don't get named one of the best by Facebook without getting results. Get your very own Facebook sales funnel today at GetMyFacebookWebsite.com.